Hey, Mike Shaman here, and I just want to thank you for checking out this Gravity Forms tutorial on how to do multi-step form. It's really easy. I'm going to get to it right now. Hey now, Mike Shaman here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a multiple step form with Gravity Forms. If this helps you out, let me know in the comments. Go ahead and go to the advanced fields over here. All right, and you just go to name, name. All right, and then if you go to standard fields up here, there's this one called page. If you do that, you can add that right there. And you move the names. The name will be on one page, and then this is the next page. And maybe we just have a um, a date. Choose the date, and then maybe you have a time. All right, and then maybe you have a phone number. And you just go back here to page, and you can add a page break wherever you want to. Good update. All right, now I've already loaded this form onto a uh, web page here. I'm just going to refresh it here. All right, so here it is. It adds this cool little graphic to the top here. Okay, I'm just going to fill this form out, take you on through the process, the date, okay, the time, whatever time you want. Oh, I hit previous, I'm going to hit next. Oh, invalid time. All right, and then my phone number and submit. All right, thank you for contacting us shortly. We'll be in touch. So that's how you do a multiple step form of gravity. And of course, you, you just want the, the form to fit whatever you need to fit. So, you know, if you need to add in any of these things, for example, like email, I connect this to my email get response. So whenever somebody fills a form out, they automatically get sent an email from me personally. It says, hey, thanks for filling this form out. You know, and then now they're on my email list so I can start building a relationship with that person. So that's one of the things I use with Gravity Forms. But this is easy how to do a multiple step form. Uh, you can also add the regular radio buttons and everything like that. If you wanted to, you can make it a, a pricing field and a product in here if you wanted. At the very end, maybe they, they buy a product. You could do that. You can capture a payment with the credit card thing there. There's so much you can do with Gravity Forms. That's why I love it. So if you want to check that out, there's a link below. And if you want to check out any other tutorials, go ahead and check those out too. You can see those in the links below. I'll probably include some cards here for, for you guys to click through. If you have any questions, let me know. All right, guys, check out the next video. Thanks a lot for viewing. All right, that's how easy it is to do a multiple step form of gravity forms in WordPress. Uh, go ahead and check out my other gravity forms tutorials. Like I said, conditional logic one's a really, really popular one and it really works well with this multiple step form. And uh, all right, guys, I'll see you on the other side.